Oh, hey. Yeah? What? We feel, we're supposed to film an intro. I, I was just enjoying the food that Cam brought us. Oh, hold, hold on one sec. Do we need to start filming right now? Yeah. Guys are waiting for us to get out for the evening fish, right? I was enjoying the prawns and the wine they supplied us. Okay, I don't blame you. You, you love your seafood. And, uh, I didn't know you were looking for me. If I knew you were wanting to start, we have the one as well, right? Oh my God, it's me. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to Coastal Springs Float Lodge up in beautiful Night Inlet. This is our second time. This is our second year here. Yes, second year here. We were here back in 2018 and we had a fabulous time, right? Yes, and there's going to be a lot more adventures here this time. Not only are we going to do some salmon fishing for Chinook like we did the previous year, uh, but we're going to try some pink fishing, maybe some spot prawns and crabbing, as, as well as uh, exploring some of the local beaches. Yeah, I got quite a few options this year. When Cam mentioned about prawns, Kitty's eyes pretty much just lit up. Oh and, my uh, goodness, of course yeah. they did. So we're gonna try that as well and see what, what we get. Um, but for now, we just arrived uh, this afternoon. And we're ready to start fishing. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. We'll do it, you and me. <laughs> no! This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. When was this uh, trap dropped, Cam? No, this one was dropped last night. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, this is why we use the uh, Scotty trap pool. How does it feel? <laughs> Way lighter, like there's nothing even there. That's pretty sweet. Those are big ones. Second. There's a second trap on this? Yeah. yeah so oh, no wonder it was so heavy. I was pulling up two. A little more productive in this one. Yeah, those are some big spot prawns. out of the boat. Come on guys, you're missing out. You know what I did forget? The saltiness. The meat is so sweet. And the salt from the ocean, like the water. It's unbelievable. I don't know how you can eat these things any other way besides trap, bucket, mouth.
I was just getting the microphones ready, but I don't even have a chance. I don't have a fish on ready. It felt small at the beginning, now it's... Yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah, now it's really going. Nice. Yeah, that's on the herring aid, eh? Yeah, that it is. Yeah. It's all in about 90 seconds. Yeah. Unbelievable. Good start. Yeah. So it's about 6.30 in the morning, and uh, we're leaving the end boat around. I'm just going to give you the same advice I give all my guests who have experience, and that's just don't screw it up. Yeah. <laughs> And if he does, what happens? Oh, it's just going to be a long boat right after that. Oh. Cam's going to get angry. <laughs> pass me the net. Always good to get one of those to the pool. Yeah. What do you think that is? Uh, Chinook. Is that a small Chinook? Yep. Uh, it's he just might make it. Whoa. It's not <laughs> Oh yeah, he's smart. Beautiful. Good job. Well, my day's done. <laughs> well, that's working. <laughs> good old, well, not good old. This is a pretty new product from Gibbs Dollar Tackle. The Herring Aid, two years now. Oh, I mean, seriously, that was two minutes down there and uh, we got a fish on. And we got the matching Herring Aid spoon as well. It's uh. Definitely working. What do you think? How, how big that is? Uh, probably about uh, eight nine pounds. Yeah. Just over the line mm -hmm. as far as legal goes. Right. Yeah. Beauty. But yeah, beautiful eating fish for sure. Yeah. smooth moves like this trip and um, yesterday. Yeah, no, I When you did that like spin around. Oh, there's fish! You got it, you got it. Let him go. Just a little bit. There you go. No! Uh. <sighs> we'll get him. Yeah, I don't know. Agricultural approach to fishing. Lots of farming. Hey, when you let them, when you farm for a little bit, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Cool. That one, it was hefty, for sure. Oh, fish! There's one. That freaking popped the clip so fast. No, you know what? I'm kind of scared to reel it in. I think you should do it a little longer. Uh, oh. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Let him go. There you are. I think it's gone. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, no, I know. It's gone. Ugh. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And I'm sorry, Rod. Like you got that first fish in two minutes, and now it's taken me t two hours. Yeah. Something's wrong with this. Something's wrong. Oh, yeah, this the fish, hook there. Yeah, like let me take a look. Hook. Can we sharpen it? Got a little sideways. It's no almost hook like. At all. Yeah, that uh, took a weird turn when it was. Like, in look there. at that. It's like jammed. It's always very important that we take the time to inspect our gear, especially when we're noticing patterns like we have been. I mean, losing fish after fish after fish, something must be going wrong. So we decided to inspect the hook and the hook is in fact quite dull. So we're gonna switch it up to a brand new uh, Gibbs herring aid. And um, this one, when it came back in, it's weird because the, the, the swivel, or the, sorry, the split ring and the, the eye of the hook actually like binded so it locked, it wasn't actually freely um, trailing behind the spoon. So we're gonna switch up our, our spoon. Hopefully a sharper one will hook something. Because Cam is, he's desperate for fish. A little bit. No, he's not desperate. <laughs> he knows that we can get so many. I know. Certainly plenty around right now. I actually wonder how many of them would have stuck if we had a uh, sharp, sharp lure. Oh, fish, left. Oh, is it there? Yeah, still there. Is it? Yeah, it's the one. Oh, I can't get out of this thing. Pink. Yep, pink. Pink salmon. 
you guessing because of the way it feels when it's fighting a lot smaller oh gosh a lot lot smaller i don't even no it's it, an adolescent uh, chinook there is it yeah please this real one, one real one. one nice one yeah he's gonna take off in one second one second well give it five maybe Hold them, get him mad. I just, I don't want to reel it because he's kind of slowly yeah, pulling. Yeah, holding there. If I put tension on him, he might not like that. The flash is already up? I don't know what's going on what here. What the heck? Little halibut maybe, I don't know. Oh, that would be sweet. What is it? Like, I've never seen the flasher move back and forth that way. And for the weight of the fish, it, Flash is not even fully out of the water. I can't see it. Little halibut. Actually? Yeah. No way! We Dude. trolled in a halibut. Very nice. Can we keep it? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yes! I'll take a baby chicken. There you go. Good job. That's better than a schnook on my, in my opinion. Beauty. Perfect. Yeah. You did very yes. well. Awesome. Nice. Reese Davis teaser head with the anchovy that used to be on it, but this halibut shredded it. No, halibut, the smaller for me, the, the better they are because the thicker the meat that you have to cook, I can never get it right. So I'd rather have a thinner piece to work with. Yeah, no, certainly. And the quality of the, the bigger ones is just way down as well based on their age. So these are, yeah, perfect eating fish. Oh, another, another juvenile Chinook. Whoa, oh. what? Oh, or a That's slightly, not juvenile Slightly bigger Chinook. one, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just saw the bronze is all. <laughs> and I'm bringing him in. Oh. There we go. Yes. Nice job. That's hilarious. <laughs> Juvenile Chinook, one that we probably need to release. And we both at the same time were like, whoa, we saw it um, come above the surface. That is neat. I didn't, when you said you wanted to go find a whale, I just was like, okay, <laughs> sure. Like, I didn't think you'd find one that fast and that close. Like, cause I always see them when they're like that big yeah, on the horizon. The 
not when you can see like their whole back and like the spots and like the marks and the ridges on their along their spine yeah no and our population of humpback whales is only getting healthier and healthier there's more and more coming in every single year and they're really well cataloged and we sort of know just about every animal and we see them essentially every day when we're out in blackfish sound yeah anywhere from hundreds of yards away to really really close surprising us when we're along the shoreline that was really really close it was that it was that that was really really awesome yeah i want to see it again oh we will This morning we decided to head up Night Inlet, do a bit of exploring, and uh, we're making our first stop, doing a bit of fishing at yep. camp, and, uh, and later on we're going to head further up. It's yep. absolutely beautiful, uh, stunning, driving up this way, yeah, with the cool. sunrise, and uh, well, I guess one way to describe this area is it's, it's, it's huge. It is it, massive. Night Inlet's massive about inlet. 90 miles long. Yeah, yeah. and um, just huge landscapes yeah. um, surrounding it. It's absolutely beautiful. And the farther up the inlet you go, the higher all the mountains get as well. It just gets bigger and right. bigger. Amazing. I would say. Is there fish on there? Oh, there's fish on there. Popped it off on the way up. Is that fish? It was a fish, like something was playing with a big time. That's a fish. Yeah, yeah. that's a little guy. <laughs> I guess I'll grab that. <laughs> I'll let you finish it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say a little, a little spring likely. But there are some pink and coho runs that are yeah. getting started around here now, so... Of course, I'm grabbing the first one, the smallest one of the day. <laughs> <laughs> see what we got. Oh, oh pretty nice size, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. You got a nice coho here. Yeah. Beautiful. Are we keeping that place? Uh, yeah, let's do okay. What is it? If it's coho, we'll keep it. If it's, it's a, a coho. Yeah. You got a good short game. There we go. So, once again, Two minutes into fishing, <laughs> I get the first fish, and that's a nice coho. That sand. is a really nice coho. Yeah, good job, Rod. Really? around here they run along the beaches and they roll over rocks in order to get the crabs and the isopods and any other marine life that's hiding below the tide line but along night inlet here it's really cliffy so there's not too many beaches that have rollable rocks so they'll run along the cliffs and they'll just kind of look for really large amounts of mussels and barnacles and they'll just get their face right up against the rock and just chew them off 
and they'll do that for you know the better part of the day and then they'll go in, up in the hills and they'll day bed while it gets really really hot out and then they'll come back down in the evenings if, especially if they have a low tide where they can be really productive and they try to get about 20,000 calories a day. I'll give you the same advice I gave you yesterday don't screw it up. <laughs> that makes me nervous. <laughs> it's, it's staying down, it's just not coming. It's coming now. And, uh... Ooh. Ooh, running for you. Probably not very big. <laughs> it's hard to say when it's coming up that deep. Here's oh, oh, a flasher. Oh, it's not huge. Ah, did it come on? You no, know, he's he's oh, there. He's there. He's there. Nice fish. Yeah. No. Nope. No, that's a spring. No. That's a spring. Okay, it's not huge, but it fought really it's well. A fun one though. Yeah. Oh, it is a shrimp. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Nice solo fish from not even what would you say like around? I'd say fifteen, 15 pounds. Yeah. yeah, it feels fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> So as we were making our way up Night Inlet, I think it was you that noticed all these splashes in the distance. And we thought it might be whales, like what we saw yesterday, but then it was a bunch of dolphins. Yeah. What kind of dolphins are those? These are Pacific white-sided dolphins. Uh, they're really common in this area, especially in Night Inlet. Uh, they really like to hang at uh, river estuaries and eat everything that's coming yeah. out, as well as the herring that are starting to form in these bays. So they'll kind of work an estuary for a while and then move along. And these guys will run in pods of anywhere from 10 to up to a thousand we've seen. Well, we saw, this is a smaller pod, but yep. when we first woke up, like this is before five o'clock, we, uh, we actually saw an even bigger pod. They were, there was hundreds and hundreds of them passing um, their way past the lot or passing by the lodge. And um, so when we, we pulled up into the in, more into the inlet, um, we started to slow down, but they actually circled around and started playing in our wake from our boat. And then we eventually stopped. Um, we filmed them as they were leaving, but now they're making their way back. So I wonder where they're going or what they're doing. Just hanging out and foraging for the most part, and then get excited when a boat comes by, something to play with. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's just so interesting to me how we're seeing all these wild creatures, but they're so tame. Like the whales, super graceful. Didn't mind we were there. These guys are almost excited to see us. And then when we saw the bear, it just came down, did its thing and- Paid us no mind. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Didn't mind we were in its backyard. Yep, yep, yeah, as long as you're not interacting in a really meaningful way, it's, yeah, just a wonderful experience. Oh my goodness. Are you ready to see these guys play? They're jumping! Wow!
We have come to the end of our four-day trip here at Coastal Springs Lodge and now we're just waiting for the arrival of our seaplane. Yep, after our last trip in 2018, I really didn't think we could see much more but um, Ken had a lot of surprise for us. We really were blown away by this trip. The first thing that I was blown away with is the fishing. Last year we came here to target the big fish, uh, the Chinook salmon that feed in the area, but this year we caught more than Chinook salmon. We caught all five Pacific salmon in the couple days that we were up here. Actually, over the, the two days that we were fishing. Besides the fishing, I was more excited about the wildlife that we saw. The wildlife was spectacular. I was losing my mind. It was like I was experiencing that first fish that I ever caught, like that same excitement. Yeah. When I saw the, the whales and the dolphins and, and the bears up close, like them just doing their thing. Nature just not even knowing that we were beside watching from a distance. Yeah. So many thanks to Ken for having all these surprises set up for us uh, during our stay. Um, we're really grateful for that. And uh, if you want more information on Coastal Springs Float Lodge, uh, be sure to check out their website at coastalsprings.net. And uh, thank you guys for the support once again. Um, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Yeah. And uh, if you have any questions on fishing around the night inlet about our experiences or any other fishing questions, uh, be sure to leave a comment on the bottom. Um, we always have to answer your question. So until next time. Good luck fishing guys. Mm -hmm.